Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 4 and the final part of this SS Deutschland tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be all the finishing touches, will be the vents and details on the top of the superstructure, the masts, propellers, rudder, lifeboats, and anything else I can think of along the way. So what we're going to do first is focus on the area around the funnels, uh, the top superstructure, and it's going to be vents and skylights and things. So we're going to start at funnel number 1. And there's going to be uh, two vents. You can probably see them on the prototype over there. Two vents to the front of the uh, on the front platform here. So the front on, funnel number one here, and you've got the front platform. On the front corner here, we're going to add a couple of vents. So just through from the centre of the funnel, go out one, two, three, four, and then back one. And we'll put our cross there. So put a cross centre there, and then build our vent on that platform there. So there's your first where your first vent will go. And do the same the other side. So uh, one, two, three, bump, bump. So there you go. There's where your two vents will go, and you build them to, to four high. So three, four, 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 four. And if you're familiar with this build, you'll just add two in the middle like so, and then use your court stairs. Bump, 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 bump on top like that, and then two blocks forward, two blocks forward, two blocks forward, and one, and then the stairs, top, bottom, sides, and all sorts. Just a cut, just a, a big old dumb vent. There you go. And there's one of those there like that. And that's how that should be. And I just do the same on the other side. For in future reference, what I do, I just for when I'm building the vents, I just add the cross. So just to save a bit of time. So in a jump cut, I'll, I'll add the vents then. So <clears throat> I just add the placement with crosses, and then you can build the vents up. So just makes life a little bit easier because these things are quite big and awkward to build. So I don't want to waste time faffing around with these too much. Anyway, there's the first two done like that, and it should look something like that. And that don't look too bad, do it? Meh. Right. Next pair of vents. Uh, we're gonna go to the next base. So next base over here, and we're gonna add two more vents on there. So it's we've got this uh, base that supports sec uh, funnel number two. Go to about. We'll go to the centre block and go about three blocks back on the grey. So one, two, three, and then out four. One, two, three, four make it three actually and then put our cross there so that's the center of the cross and then the base like that so there we go so do the same the other side go back one two three and back out three one two three build our base of the of the vent like so so there's where your second set of vents will go build them up to the height i just showed you so build this build the stacks four high and then add the curve bits to the top the stairs so that's uh, those vents like that and then <clears throat> and then we go to the funnel now and we're going to go and add a box sort of thing so one block or two blocks forward of the funnel so here's funnel number two go two blocks forward of that and we're going to add a box a box thing which is 13 wide so center block plus one two three four five six that way one two three four five six that way and then the sides are forward three so one two three like that and build them one two three and then build them across the front like so like that, there's your your box design, and then that's I don't know how tall that is. I think it's three high, so build that three high all the way around. Really ought to pay attention on them, writing things down. Either build it three or four high, so this two high, and then build it. Th yeah, make it three high. Three high is enough, I think. My nose is starting to run again, which isn't helpful. <coughs> and there we go. It's right. So now just add the roof. So there's that box done there. So like I say, add the events up, everything should be fine. Now we're going to go to behind the second funnel now. Uh, just going to work out what to do. We're going to go to the behind the base. So here's the base of funnel number two, the back of it. And we're going to go on the wood, count back about four blocks or three blocks. There, one, two, three, and then out three, one, two, three, and do that another set of events so there's another another cross there same the other side back three one two three out build the cross on the deck like so so there, like i said there's two more vents there and then <coughs> we're going to go back to the base of funnel number two and we're going to build a skylight which is seven blocks back from the base so from the center of the base go on the wood one two three four five six seven blocks back and I put a centre block there. So this is where a skylight will go. And this is 
uh, nine wide, so that's one, two, three, four that way, one, two, three, four that way, so that's nine wide like that. And then the sides are 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then across the back like so. And then on the sides. Try to work this one out actually without cheating. Uh, on the on the back and the front, on the back wall and the front wall, you're going to build a line of seven. So from the center, go one, and then one, two, three each side. One, two, three, and then on the back wall again, add a line of five. So center plus two either side, so it's five like that. And then on the top, add three. One, two, three like that. So it's, you're making a pyramid. That's how, the, how you want to design the pyramid. So I do the same on the front front wall. So seven. And then five, uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, like that. And then we could add our spine, which would go the full length of the skylight center point, like so, like that. And then <coughs> we could add stairs to create the ribs. So on the front wall and back wall, we could add stairs on the ends. So you've got stairs like that, making the pyramid a bit more pyramidy. Okay, so there's the ends like that, and then every other block we can add a pyramid. Now the pyramids are going to be a bit awkward to design, so what I'll do, I build one out like that, and then two out, and then two out like that. So do that every other block. So you've got a single block space. So do the same again. Two out, two out, two out, two out, two out, out. one plus. Have I done it right? Yep. Yeah. One out, and then two out, two out, one plus two out, two out, one plus two out. Two out two out like that so that's one side and then we add our stairs every other block or on the pyramids like so and there we go so they do the same on the other side so underneath we do uh, block plus two out two out so you'll get the, the idea how this goes block two out two out block plus two out two out I can hear body scratching at the back door She's starting to get rancy again, you can hear her barking. There's nothing there, but she wants to bark anyway, so I'm just to finish off the stairs here. Shut up, for God's sake. There we go, so there's our skylight. And it should look something like that. So I'll be back in a moment while Bonnie's, uh, while I go kick Bonnie at the ass back in a second. Okay, back again. So what's the skylight done? And what we're going to do now is... On well, the end of the pyramid... On the back end here, we're going to add a box. Uh, so I work out how it attaches. Is it? Yeah, it attaches to the end of the uh, pyramid, and we we'll go from the ends. So from this end block here, we're going to build out. Uh, build out three blocks from the end. Actually, build just build the pyramid. We go from the centre of the pyramid, and then build the wall 13 wide. So it's centre plus one, two, three, four, five, six out like that, and then one, two, three, four, five, six out like that. So you've got a straight wall on there. I'm tired out now. Um, and then the sides are three back, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then build across the back like so. And this is another box thing, and this goes to the same height, so four high to the same height as the pyramid. So build it four high, all the way around like that. And I haven't used welded it yet, which is good. I may use it in a second now. and then just add the roof and there we go so there's our skylight <coughs> done like that so once again you add the vents I haven't added the vents yet I should have done that during the jump cap but never mind okay so next next uh, on the next base by the funnel it's funnel number three we're going to add two small vents behind the funnel so in the corner space here Behind the funnel, I'm going to add a small vent, which is three high, a uh, four high, sorry, so one, two, three, four, like that, and one forward, like so. So that's a small vent, and let's do the same on the other side. So uh, one, two, three, four, and boop, one forward like that. There you go. That's the vents, and then we go on to the last base, which is the one for funnel number four. And on the front wall of the base, we're going to increase the height of it by another block. 
So it will be 13 wide on the front. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then the sides are 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then across, back across like so. So it's basically just this small portion of the front. Increase that in height. Like so. And then using grey, the same grey as we used on the deck itself, we're going to add the deck up like so. Like that, there you go. There's the raised, <coughs> raised base like so. And then on the base, on this raised base, we're going to add two vents. So from the center, go back two on the grey and out one, two, three, and add across. And then the same on the other side, so back two, out three, one, two, three. Three, build across like so and there we go there's where your two more vents go and then behind actually in front of funnel number four on the base we're going to add two more small vents so we go forward of the funnel go one two three forward and then one two three out add small vents so one two three four up plus one same other side so three out one two three one two three four up plus one vent uh, one block forward for your two vents like so and then do the same behind the funnel. So like we did with the funnel number three, add two small vents. So one, two, three, four up plus one. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four up plus one like that. And there you go. There's your vents added there. And that is a majority of the detail done on this area. I'm just going to look at the thing like so. So like I said, I've not done the vents yet. I've, I've placed them so you've got all the crosses in the right places. I uh, just need to build those up. So the last job around that superstructure deck house thing and what's it is just to add the handrails. So we get our iron byrises and go from the front just behind just in front of funnel number one. You just add handrails all around the base or all around the top of the uh, of this deck house. So just go all the way around. Just wasting time, you know how it is. And uh, it should all look fine. I hate adding these things, they're a pain in the bloody bum hole. But I shall persevere because that's what I do. And have a good old moan about it at the same time. I would like to have a, a good old rant sometimes. I better go let Bonnie in in a minute as well because she wouldn't come back in. I let her out and then she went and sat on the grass in the rain. So she might be a bit cold by now, but that's her fault. She won't come in when I call her in. <laughs> yeah, it's not as bad as leaving them in a hot car, that's one thing. Rain, fine. Hot sunshine, no, can't do that. So just get these handrails done on here. There's also lifeboats to go on as well, but they'll be added to probably the last thing, because lifeboats are a pain in the ass. La, 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 la. I should have just done a jump cut for this thing because these things take a long time to do. Never mind. So add handrails up to the front. Like so. There we are. There's our handrails done. And that's that deck house done like so. So what I'm going to do now, I should do a jump cut. Let body in and uh, move on to the next phase. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added all the vents up properly. So they're all the right height. So you've got two, four, six eight big vents and that's how that should be so next job we're going to go down to the next platform which is this gray raised platform behind funnel number four and it's on the deck below actually so you can see it's down like that and we're going to go to the center block of the back wall so the back edge just here right on this back edge here we're going to build a skylight which is on the back edge it's going to be seven wide so on the against the back edge here build it seven wide so put a center block and then seven wide so that's uh, three other sides, so one, two, three that way, one, two, three that way, and then the sides are ten back, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then across the back, like so, and then on the front and back wall, build five, so one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, like that, and then the centre spine. Like so. Now on the prototype, I made this into a sort of checkerboard design, but I'm just going to do it as a sort of rib cage design. So every other block will just build out two, like so, two, 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 like that, and then with the stairs, connect them up, like so, like that, and it should look something like that. Do the same on the other side. Build back or build out two, 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 like that, and then the stairs. 
like that. There you go. So what I meant by checkerboard, what I did, I put a block in there like so, and it, it don't look too bad, but no, we'll go with it. Why not? We'll go with it. So just add blocks in like so. So you've got sort of, well, it's not really a checkerboard, is it? It's sort of <laughs> holes on the roof. Anyway, that's <laughs> that's just skylight. And it should look something like that. And now you're going to add two more big vents, one either side of the skylight. So if we go on the side of the sky, of the skylight, we go back one, two, three, four back, and then out two, one, two. Actually, make it out three, and then we build our cross on the third block. So you've got a, a space between like that. And there you go. There's where your second, uh, where your first uh, vent will go. And then do the same on the other side. So out one, two, three. Build our cross there. So there's two more vents like that. And then behind the skylight, a one block gap, we're going to add another vent, so... What the hell was that? Oh, sound. Uh, so, one block behind... One block gap behind the skylight, build another cross. Like that, and there's we have two more... Three more vents will go, so one, two, three, three more vents. Like those big tall things over there, so you do that. And then, from the back wall of the skylight, you're going to add a box. So from the back wall, go out two, so out one, two, like that. And then we build uh, a line of four forward. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then double it up like that. And then build it two blocks high. So it's basically two rows of four, two blocks high like that. So the box there. And then the same on the other side. So build out four. I'll build forward four. One, two, three, four. Double it in width. Double it in height. Like that. And there you go. There's that little, little bit of detail done there. Like I said, I've not done the vents yet, but actually I can just paste them in, can't I? So, what should I do? Should I do paste? So there's one vent there. And then I should do the other ones like that. So this is me cheating. So there's three, there's two of the three, and then the third vent is just here. Like that, and there we go. There's our three vents in place. Looks a bit cluttered, but you know, that's how it is. And it don't look too bad. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is go back to the back of the grey area. So that we're going to go one side because both sides are going to be the same, but are on this sort of bit that sticks out. Well, not sticks out, but the centre section is missing, so it's on a se separate area here. So on the centre block of the side. So this is the centre block here, and then uh, two out to the side. So one, two out. Add a vent, which is uh, a little vent, a small vent. So four high. One, two, three, four, and one forward. And then two out to the other side, so one, two, one, two, three, four, plus one, four. So that's your edge like that. So as long as you've got two blocks free each side of the vent and three in the middle, that's central to that area. So that's it's going to be the same on the other side, so I'm just going to do one side for the minute. And then we're going to add three skylights, which are all the same. So skylights, we go one, two blocks forward on the grey, and we build our skylight five wide. So centre block plus two either either side like that so it's very awkward to see but there you go so it's five wide like that and then the sides are five forward so one two three four five one two three four five and then across the front like that and it's a pyramid again so you want to build it three high so you want a row of three one two three four so actually build a row of four and then a row of two on top like that same on the other side one two three four and then two like so and then just work out how to do this. Build the build. Uh, I don't know. I've got to look at the prototype. I think I'm, I'm not pooed up. I just can't remember how this goes. Uh, okay, I got it. 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 So we use our stairs now. Then we add our stairs going up, like so. So it's basically just two sets of stairs, front and back. There you go. And then on the top. You add four blocks to create the roof of the skylight like that. And then stairs on the middle of the skylight like that. So you can leave, leave the skylight open, or you can add what I'm going to do in a second. So there's that's how that looks like that. This is skylight done. Now on the prototype, I used... What did I use? I used nether brick stairs for this bit. So I'm going to use the nether brick stairs and put them in the gap to make it look like it's sort of darked, darked out or blacked out which is not blacked out but it's redded out if you know what I mean and there's your first skylight you want three of those and like I say I've not explained it very well but you know this is this is me doing it 
So there you go, there's your first skylight, and then you want to do the same thing again. <coughs> so you leave a four block gap, so five blocks forward to go one, two, three, four, five, and just do the same again. So five wide sides, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and across like that. And then build the sides up. Four, two, four, and two, and then join the tops across, like so. And then the stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs. And then the nether brick stairs. Nether brick stairs, like so. And there you go, there's number two done. And then number three, same again, four block gap. There's a four block gap in it. Yeah, five blocks forward, so one, two, three, four, five. Do the same again, so five wide. Sides five. And across the front like that. And then four, two, four, two. Join them together across the top. Stairs, 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 stairs. And then stairs, 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 stairs. And then another stairs, 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 stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs. No, yeah. There's our skylights done like that. So what I'm going to do. That's how they're designed like that, and then, like I said, they, do, they go on the other side as well, on that area over there. So what I'm going to do, I should do a jump cut while I sort those ones out, and then we can move on to something else. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so there's both sides of the skylights done, and it should look something like that. Better turn my things back on, there we go. So here we are, there are uh, six skylights and four vents, and they don't look too bad, so that's that area done. So now we go down to the end of the boat deck which is just slightly lower than where we were so there's the grey bits there. Now down to the end of the boat deck which is this part which goes right down and round like that. Go down to the back wall here and we're going to add the mast first. So we're going to use yellow terracotta for that. So where's yellow terracotta? Put that in there. And for the mast we're going to go on the wood count forward to the 22 yeah 22 blocks forward on the wood. So that's one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And we build our mast on that spot there. So build the cross for the mast, like so. And it's the same design as the previous mast. So it's up 3 rows of 20. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. So it's <coughs> three rows of 20 like that. And <coughs> like on the front, we're going to go three, uh, five blocks down from the top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add the spurs out. 3. Plus a black block. One, two, three, plus a black block, and then about five down from that. One, two, three, four, five, out six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the black block. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a black block there. There we go. So there's the spurs at the top. And then we just build the rest of the mast up. So from the back of the back of the cross, build that up to the bottom of the top section, like so. side like so and there we go there's those bits done like that and then we can add this the crane parts which go from the bottom uh, from the bottom up we go to the fifth block up yeah fifth block up so one two three four five blocks up on the side so on these blocks here so we're going to build we're going to build forward f forward and back actually five rows of six so I build the first one so one two three four five six forward one two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One one two three four five six. So it's five rows of six like that. Put a black block at the end, and then the same on the other side. So they're both together, like so. And the black block. So there we go. There's the first two like that, and then the same on the back of the mast as well. Same. Five rows of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six and the black block <coughs> and then the same next to that and the black block and there we go there's our mast and crane thingy but thingy me with that what's it's like that and uh, they don't look too bad so that's that job done so let's look at the prototype quick to work out what I'm doing and yeah we want to put a little skylight now so from behind the mast uh, it's a two block gap so two blocks back behind the mast let's go one two three blocks back sorry and then we build a little skylight which is uh, three wide so we're going to use stairs for this one so third block back so one two three build stairs three wide in courts or whichever colour you want three wide and then the sides are three. One, two, three, like that. One, two, three, and then back across. And then put a bit of glass in there like that. And there you go, the tiny, tiny little skylight. Not too bad. And then beside each side of the skylight we go, actually we go one block back from the skylight. So go back one to this block here, which I've just broken. And then count out four to the side. So one, two, three, four. And then build across to mark the vent. There's one side there, and then one, two, three, four out to the other side. Build the vent that side. And there we go. There's two vents either side, or one vent either side. And they're the same design as usual. So I'm going to build these freehand because I haven't got them copied yet. So I'll build the freehand. Save a few seconds. <coughs> bits so there's one mass uh, uh, vent thing done I just quickly copy that to the other side so we do copy flip to the right and then paste there there we go two vents one either side and uh, that's that so now we just need to add another skylight which goes on this square section here on the back <clears throat> what we're going to do, go to the back wall which is this section here, we're going to add slabs going around the edge, we'll put a centre slab there like that on the wood like so, centre stairs rather, not slabs, stairs um, we can actually use slabs if we want to uh, use slabs or stairs, what do I use on the prototype, because I've written this down but I'm just sort of thinking you could use stairs and yeah I did use stairs, so yeah stairs is probably the best thing So, so we use stairs going around, so what we want to put the back wall, which is nine wide, so that's four either side, one, two, three, four that way, one, two, three, four that way, so it's nine stairs like that, and then the sides are forward ten, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then across the front, like so, and that's the base of the skylight. And then what you want to do, and then just build squares basically. So build stripes first, going across the width, and then fill in the gaps like so to create squares or checks or whatever you want to call them. And there we go. You can put uh, glass in there or black in there because it's not. It's, it's, it's best to remove the wood underneath so the skylight actually has a purpose rather than just cosmetic but uh, however however you want to do this it's fine and uh, there we go there's the skylights all done and it shouldn't look too bad and then either side of the skylight on this corner here where the um the deck gets narrower up to the way the skylight is we're going to add some stairs so these two blocks here in the corner remove those and we'll build st wood staircases going down so we get our stairs and then we go build stairs going down to the deck below and the supports underneath and then the banisters two up two up two up one set of stairs there <coughs> and then the same the other side so stairs 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 and the supports like that and then we go up two 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 like that marvellous Beautiful, superb, and 
that's how that should be like that. There's a little bit more detail to go on, but I'll sort that out in a bit. Um, and it don't look too bad. So what I'll do now, uh, I should do another jump cut and work out what I'm doing next, and then we shall move on to whatever's next. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what I'm going to do now is move on to a bit more detail around the uh, skylight we just built here. Um, well, not the skylight as such, but uh, around it. As we handrails either side going from the stairs. So if we go from the stairs, I'm going to put a block at the top, like so, to create where the handrails start. So I'm going to build handrails going out from that block all the way out to the side, like so. Then you want to build handrails going back. 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 like that and then with white blocks going to cut into the deck inwards <coughs> excuse me we're going to go in five so go in one two three four five and then replace with white blocks like so and then you go forward four is it forward or back uh forward yeah forward four so one two three four replace with white like that and then all the way to the center like so, so I'll go up to the centre so far. Like that. Some strange lag when I'm cutting the deck, wouldn't mind. So there you go. So it's basically, I don't know what it is, I think it's just sort of a separation of class. So just put the handrails in, going up to the centre, like so. Like that, so you can see the handrails go from the from the stairs, out to the side, forward 13, in 4, in 5, sorry, forward 4, and then inwards to the centre. We do the same on the other side, so I block at the top of the stairs, like so, and then in out sorry like that and then forward 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then in 5 1 2 3 4 5 with the white forward 4 1 2 3 4 and then inwards to the center like so and then replace the white or replace with white so much and then replace with the handrails <coughs> excuse me so yeah it's, it must be something like a a class structure or something that's how that's designed but uh there we go, so that's the, that's the uh, handrails done there. And, uh, meh, that's that bit now. Now, what we're going to do now, go down to the area behind this skylight, now into this deck here, the main deck, and we're going to go to the centre block of the back wall here, and we're going to add some mechs, which are those black things. And we're going to go, uh, four back from the, uh, is it four back? Yeah, four back from the centre wall, so one, two, three, four, and build a row of two and you want five rows of two or is it yeah five so it's one in the middle plus two either side like that that design and then just join them all together across the top like so and there you go there's your mechs design like that and then behind that uh on the center block you're going to count back two blocks or three blocks sorry one two three and build a hatch the hatch is seven wide so that's three the side and then the sides are four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and across the back like so. So there's where your hatch goes, and then build the centre spine. And then we get our quartz slabs, which <coughs> will cover up the back end, uh, the sides rather, like so. And there we go, there's the hatch added there. <coughs> and then lastly, after the hatch, we want to build a vent. Uh, a big vent. Uh, one, uh, Two blocks behind. So two, uh, three blocks back, sorry. So one, two, three. We'll build a big, big uh, vent to build the cross like so. And that's where your vent will go. So I build the vent, why not? So four high. And build this one facing forward again. So get our court stairs again, which I keep throwing away. So stairs, 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 and then two forward, two forward, two forward, one forward, two forward, <coughs> and then the stairs like so. Sorry, I keep coughing, but my voice is dying here. And there we go. There's the vent in that space there. Two more small vents will go from the side of the cargo hatch. So the cargo hatch go from the back side, so back corners here, and go out two blocks, one two, and build the car, build the small vents up four, one two three four. And one forward like that. Same the other side. Out one or two. One, two, three, four up. And one forward like that. <coughs> and there we go. There's our little details done there. Now behind the stern deck house, we're going to add another little mech from behind the. So they've got the bridge wings, the, the, the docking bridge wings on the back there, like that. So on the centre, one block back, 
or one gap from the deck house. Just build three rows of two, so two there, and a row of two either side. And then join them together like so. Like that. And it don't look too bad. So last job is to add one. One more job after this, but actually we're just going to go and add handrails. So go from the centre of the back of the ship and add handrails all the way around the edge of the ship. And as per usual, the white blocks are going to be needed underneath the um, underneath the handrails like so, because it does look a bit pan a bit pony. So I just connect these all up first. So I just remove the wood blocks and connect them up like that. So as long as all the white blocks are connected up like so. It will look better, so I just quickly replace the wood with the white in those areas. All the way up to the end of the superstructure. So you've got the overhang of the of the boat deck there. So go up to that point and just add the handrails in the rest of that area. All the way down to the back of that area. And there we go, there's the handrails on that side. I'll just quickly do the same the other side. And this kind of annoys some people, but <coughs> I am taking my time slightly. I'm I'm rushing a little bit because I'm I mean I spent two weeks on this tutorial because I had to take a week off because of the bloody lurgy, but never mind. So now we just add the rest of the handrails around this area. There we go, there's a the handrails added there. And then the last job which I said on this area is to add the bollards. So we'll get our bollards, which are anvils. And we'll just put a couple of pairs either side. So you've got the centre of the ship here, just go out to the side a little bit and put a pair of bollards there like so. And then a bit further around the back of the ship, put a pair there. So you've got two pairs there. Do the same on the other side, so put a pair on the back there and then another pair further round like so and there you go there's your stern details done there and it don't look too bad I will you know I will admit it could add a bit more detail on there but <coughs> that's uh, that's the way it is so that's what I'm going to do on the top of the ship now there's uh, this I think all, all I need to do now is the propellers rudders and the uh, lifeboats so we're going to focus on the rudder next and we're going to get our night vision because down here you can't see shit. So get our night vision. Like so. And it does look quite nice under here. And what we're going to do now, we're going to use, um, for the rudder, I use hinges, uh, which are stone cobble or cobblestone wall. So we'll get those. Cobblestone wall plus red, white, and black for the rudder itself. So go down to the bottom where the keel is. And we're going to add hinges. And we want 10 hinges. Uh, I'm trying to work this one out. Yeah, ten hinges, so uh, spaced out by one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have ten hinges like that. That don't look too bad. And now for the bottom of the rudder, we're going to go back from the bottom. So from the bottom, we're going to go back three, one, two, three, like so. And then you want four rows of two. So one, two, three, four, like that. So you're curving up. And then uh, up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four. I think that's how it goes. And then on the inside out, up three, one, two, three, and then one, like that. Don't look too bad. And then we'll fill that all in with red. So we can build that all the way forward up to the hinge and then fill all this in with red. I don't know why I'm doing it like this, didn't do it in rehearsal, but never mind. <laughs> yes, I do rehearse some of these things sometimes just to make sure I get it right. A lot of the time it's uh, free uh, winging, if you know what I mean. And there we go, there's our rudder done like that. Or well, the red part of it. And now for the white part, we're going to go to one block from the end at the back here and just build forward to the front. Like that of the rudder. There you go. You've just got a line of white blocks like that. <coughs> and then for the black, we want 
Uh, two blocks four do they want to build? I think it's three. Well, I'll build build five. So build five, and then we want four. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, and then two. One, two, like that. And there we go. There's our rudder. Like that. And that don't look too bad. You can readjust the top if you want to, but I've just made it so that design sort of, sort of curves in and then up, sort of thing. And if you want to, put another block on the top like that. And it don't look too bad. It's a bit hard to see because of the, everything else in the background, but there you go. And there's your rudder sort of thing. Yeah, don't look too bad. And, uh, yeah. So that's the rudder done. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick jump cut while I get the propellers prepped. And then uh, we shall move on to that. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now we're going to add the ship's propellers and also cut the hole in the... Uh, peak tanks for the hole basically. So we'll do the propellers first. I'm going to use quartz blocks and stairs for these propellers so they'll be white. Where in reality, this should be sort of a bronzy color, but never mind. Um, so we're going to start uh, on the bottom of the keel. So down the keel here at the very end of it, and you're going to count forward. Uh, I've got my notes written down. We're going to count forward five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then up seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then out six, I build one, two, three, four, five. And then a white block, six, to mark the center of the propeller. So there you go, so that's where the propeller goes. So from the keel, it's forward five, up seven, out six. So the sixth block is where the propeller goes. So I remove those blocks there like that. And then for the propeller, we'll build a swastika. So up two, out one, out two, down one, down two, in one in two up one and then we'll add stairs to add to the propeller blades as such so how do you do this like that like that and like that <coughs> and then do 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 and do do and do like that and then a center block for the center of the prop like that marvelous now for the propeller shaft, go behind the propeller and just build forward with red all the way till it connects to the rest of the hull, like so. And then for the flange, it's just a single strand for this one, it's not a, a full flange, so we'll just go one block back from the propeller and build up two, 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 uh, two again, and then that should connect it all up nicely. And there we go, and that's our propeller and propeller shaft done. Like I said, the flange is just a single strand, you don't need to build that all the way forward. And it should look something like that. So I should do the do the other side, may as well. So from the from the rudder, uh, from, from the end of the keel, go one, two, three, four, five, and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that, and then we build our propeller out in in whatever out like so and then add the <coughs> the propeller blade bits and bobs like so apologies for my breathing but I'm still trying to get rid of this bastard cold <sighs> there we go there's our propeller done and then the center block <clears throat> and then the red bits, red forward, single strand, like that, and then the propeller, sh uh, propeller flange, two up, two up, two up, and then two up like that, and there we go. Two propellers done. Marvellous. And they are the same height, that's good. Yeah, right. So that's that bit done. Now we're going to add the hole which goes in between the two propellers. And we're going to go to the, we've got the rudder, um, the, the end of the keel here like so. So you're going to go up one and one forward. And then you're going to cut a hole four long. So one, two, three, four. And then two, one, two. And then back to the to the rudder, uh, to the edge with the rudder attached. You're going to go up nine. So go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forward three, one, two, three, and underneath two, one, two, and then that edge go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, to open that area, and then everything in that space, just remove all the red, like so, and there we go, they got a big hole 
between the two propellers. Not sure what the purpose of it is, but there you go. And if you've got, uh, got any leaks, just put a few blocks in to uh, cover up the leaks, and there we go. So that's our rudder and propellers uh, all done. And uh, it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. And uh, yeah, it will do. Yeah, I think you're looking at it from various angles that look a bit odd, but hey ho, there we go. If you're building it on water, that's not be a big problem, is it? But there you go. So that's that job done there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another jump cut, and then we should move on to our last job, which is the uh, lifeboat. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the ship's lifeboats, and there's going to be ten of these things, either side of the ship, and they're all. The boats themselves are 14 blocks long and 4 blocks wide. There's going to be 20 davits, so of course 2 davits per boat. So we're going to start on the front left side of the ship. I'm just going to do a couple of these because they're all fairly simple. But as you get further back, they will get a bit more awkward because when you get further back along the boat deck, the deck does get narrower. So you have to take into account how the boats sit there. But as long as you get 10 of them, and I will I'll just fly over to the prototype to give you an idea what I mean about the back end of the deck. So. We've got the lifeboats here on the prototype, and you can see the deck gets narrower, and the deck gets narrower by one, two blocks, so they just move the lifeboats in by two blocks at a time, or one block at a time, and it should look fine, so I'll move over to the pro uh, to the build, and we'll start from there, Breeze just saved the world, Breeze just left the game for a minute, shit about, uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the first davit, and the first davit is on the seventh block back behind the bridge wing. So the bridge wing up there and on the boat deck here. Go to the seventh block back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the side of the ship like that, you're going to build one block out and then down three. One, two, three. And then you want to go up four. One, two, three, four. And then up two. And then two. And then in three. One, two, three, like that. So there's your first davit. And then 15 blocks behind that, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do the same again, so 3 down, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 up, 2 up, in 2, 3, like that. So there's your first pair of davits. And then for the lifeboats, uh, the lifeboat is, like I say, 14 long, but it's also sat on top of 2 blocks. So we go onto the boat deck itself and go from the davit and go... One block, in, one block in on the wood, or well, onto the wood, there like that. And then go back, uh, one, two, three, and then we put two black blocks like that. And then the same from the other davit, go in, one, two, three, and then put the other, da uh, the other blocks like that. Actually, that's the wrong place. So it's in, and then one, two, three, four, like that. There we go, so they're roughly evenly spaced. Um, so yeah, that's how those ones are laid out. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, to build the keel of the boat, and the keel of the boat is uh, 12, so if we go to the the black blocks, we just build a keel, which is even, so you want about, so from the black blocks go 3 forward, and on the other black blocks go 3 back, or 4 back. These are not evenly spaced, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> I just realised that, so if I move these black blocks... You can actually make these kind of irrelevant, really, these black blocks, but there we go. So it's three that way, three that way, and then just join them together. That should be 12. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. So 12 long, and then two blocks wide. As long as you've got them evenly spaced between the davits. So you've got a block gap between the davit and the, and the keel there, and a block gap between the davit and the keel there. So it doesn't really matter where the blocks are placed, really. So you can have them placed anywhere. But as long as the, the, the blocks are there for the boat to sit on, it doesn't really matter. So like I say, you can move them forward, you can move them back, but it doesn't really matter. So there we go. So now you just build the boat uh, front to back, like so. Build them, extend them at the front and the back, and then the sides, like so. <clears throat> like that. And then just fill in the base like that. So there's the boat done. And then for the canvas on the top, we just use a fancy colour. Do red for this one. Bum 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 bum. 
So yeah, just yeah, on the prototype I use grey, but uh, this is a build I shall use it as. I shall use red. Everyone loves red. I prefer blue, but there. Yeah. And there we go. There's first lifeboat done. And it should look something like that. Meh. Yeah. Right, so that's the first first of ten. So we just go. We're gonna leave a single block gap, and then go and build the same again. So down three, up four, one, two, three, four, and then up two, two, and then in three. And then 14, uh, the 15 back, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do the same again. Down 3, up 4. And then 2, 2, and 3. Like that. And then do the same again with the lifeboat. Just build the build the black base. Like that. So you've got two block gap between. Like so. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. I mean, here it's a three block gap. Here it's a two block gap, doesn't matter. As long as you get the the kill done. The kill is twelve long. Like so, and then build the boat to fourteen long. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna do this one boat. And then we can do a jump cut because it's all kind of irrelevant. And these are very, very basic boats, so if you want to do your own, by all means, but personally I'd do your own design because these ones are a bit crap. <coughs> and there we go, that's boat number two done. So like I say, you just want to do that another eight times, so you have ten down one side. And take into account where the deck narrows in slightly, but you should be able to get through that pretty quick, uh, pretty easily. Because just basically, put the davits in the right places, in the same positions. Just there's just the lifeboat you need to move. Move the lifeboat in by one block for each section. It should be fine. So what I'm going to do, I should do a jump cut while I sort the rest of these boats out, and then uh, we can call it a day. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so I've done all the lifeboats on the deck, and the ship should look something like this. Well, in theory, give or take the uh, issue with the stern, because the lifeboat's curving in. But we'll go down there anyway, and see, all I've done, just move the black blocks back slightly, and the lifeboats just sit one block in, so that's all you do. Just for, just following the contours of the ship, and uh, it should look something like that. So that's all ten down there, and then you've got the other 10 down the other side and that is it for the Deutschland that's 20 lifeboats and she looks mighty fine so that's all I'm gonna do and uh, yeah. it's been a year but you know or two years rather but it's, it's all done now Deutschland is all done and uh, hope you all enjoyed following the build probably not but there you go but anyway that's that's it for the uh, Deutschland, like I say. The next tutorial, judging by the poll, will be the Windrush, or the Empire Windrush, and so that'll be in a few weeks' time. And uh, we shall go with how that goes. We'll see how it goes. It's a smaller ship anyway, so I just if I warp to it, uh, I can't remember how to spell it, but is it Warp Wind? Oh, there we are. Yeah, so I think, judging by the poll, this will be the next tutorial. So here we are, this white ship with the, the blue and green stripes. And... Uh, that is what the next tutorial is likely to be, so that'd be interesting to see how it goes. And uh, yeah, don't look too bad now. I think it's actually by yeah. There's the Deutschland as well. There's the other Deutschland. Well, it's actually the same Deutschland. It's just moved to another area, but yeah. There we go. So that's what the next tutorial looks likely to be. The Windrush there, fairly small ship, but uh, has a big story. Part of the Windrush generation, if you know what I mean. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So that's uh, Deutschland here, Windrush there, so that's the past and present and future coming up. And uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone for watching and subscribing and things like that and taking the time to watch these videos. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all things like that. Join our streams, there's memberships as well, if anyone's interested in that guff. And uh, yeah, thanks all for the all the feedback and things like that. So um appreciate all your ink all your uh appreciate all your uh, uh, uh not advice uh what is it suggestions for ships 
and uh, just to keep this channel going so uh, thanks everyone for all that and uh, we'll see you all later on so this is Rich signing off logging off disappearing and I shall see you all again well you'll see me again in another tutorial soon so uh, bye for now